Hey Aquarius, it's Teresa with One Love, One Light. Welcome to your message. Let's see what you can do to raise your vibration in love. What can you do to raise your love vibration? Holy Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? And we have sensitivity, so this is being, being empathetic and compassionate and sensitive to how others feel as well as you're paying attention to your own feelings not discounting how you feel so let's read what that has to say number 12 all right being sensitive means you feel energy on a deeper level than most of the people around you you may sense or know what other people are feeling or thinking you may also take on the feelings or moods of those around you. You may find that your fears become amplified when your sensitivity is heightened. To heal this cycle, learn to confront your fears. Work towards getting to know yourself. You need to be beware of your feelings so you can tell when you are being unduly influenced by the energy of others. Developing your intuition will help you manage energy that is not yours. So it's like... Um, there's a level of allowing what others feel to penetrate you, but not so much that it changes the way you feel in your vibration. All right, what else do we have for Aquarius? Holy Spirit. And we have go with the flow, let things happen. So I do feel like um, this is also something that you have to be open to, open to experiencing things as they come letting things happen actually i'm gonna do it like this because i'm gonna pull two of these romance angels so i feel like this is not trying to control the situation but going with the flow emotionally and physically going with the flow not trying to um control everything that's what i keep getting here all right what else do we have for aquarius and we have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like if there is someone that you are particularly interested in or bonding with, this is really reminding you to um, get to know them to their core so that you know exactly what you're in for. Don't... Um, Don't put your expectations on them. Allow them to reveal themselves. What else do we have? And we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. For, so for those of you that are already in a relationship or are in a relationship that has the potential to go from friendship to romance, I feel like you need to give it a chance. And I feel like because you know each other better and you're sensitive to their needs because you are already know them, that could be a really uh, magical connection. All right, let's see how this is playing out for you. And we have the Six of Pentacles, generosity. So I feel like in regards to love, this is about, um, what's the word reciprocity reciprocal love like um give it equal give and take um no one is more attracted or more invested or more um domineering this is like an equal give and take relationship where you both feel the same way and i feel like that's what you're looking for if you're not already in it what else do we have we have the nine of wands determination so i feel like this is because you've been very determined you've been trying to control the situation maybe even trying to say um either this is you or them trying to say the right things do the right things but this is about revealing your true self so that you see if it is a vibrational match with their true self so i feel like this is that determination almost forcing things and and i feel like you will um wish you hadn't later so the challenge here is the tower so there's something that may be a 
breaking factor for you. This could be um, anything from their past, from their current situation is a deal breaker for you. But I feel like this is um, part of getting to know somebody. So I feel like you'll either um, make the decision that this is something that you're willing to accept about them or not. But don't play games. Don't um, try to um, justify things that you know are not accept acceptable to your soul. The advice from spirit is the four of pentacles control again with the control coming out here. So I feel like this is really allowing things to flow, not being blocked off, but also having some sense of boundary here. All right. The outcome. We have the seven of wands challenges. So this is going to be challenging. I feel like with this four of pentacles and six of pentacles, you're really going to be deciding you know, yes, it's challenging. That doesn't have to be the deal breaker. I feel like um, this comes down to you deciding if this, if this, if your feelings are worth um, investing any further in this relationship. The bottom of the deck, we have the hanged man. So I do feel like you need to see things from another perspective, possibly their perspective. And I feel like you do need to get to know them better and give give it a chance um but you know what's best for you so really soul search and be mindful and sensitive of the whole situation as a as a whole and then and then if you need to break it down to really decide um i feel like you know you know what's best for you all right, let's clarify. Show me what the Six of Pentacles is about. And we have the Five of Roses, the Five of Wands, competition. So there may be something, somebody, um, a past person that isn't completely out of the picture. This could be something that makes it very hard for you to take this uh, situation seriously. Show me this Nine of Wands. And we have the Eight of Gems, the Eight of Pentacles, perfection. So I feel like that's what you're seeking is, is perfection. And I feel like it's not about lowering your standards, but it's about being sensitive to this person as a human being and understanding that they're not perfect and that you can't, and you can't be perfect either. Show me this tower. And we have the King of Shells, the King of Cups. So... I feel like there's something that is going to really blow your mind emotionally. And I feel like that could um, be good or bad. It's you decide and then you decide where do you go from here. It's going to change your outlook and your perspective on this person. Show me this four of pentacles. And we have the temperance card. So patience. This is having patience and sensitivity towards people the needs and the situation that this person is in. I feel like there's a healing that's coming in. It may bring you closer, this tower moment. You may go through something, um, some type of event together that's going to bring you closer together. Show me this seven of wands. And we have the seven of shells, the seven of cups illusion. So the challenges are all this is what I'm getting because it has illusion. The challenges are all about um, how, how you see that person. And when you look at them more as a human being and not just trying to measure up to your expectations or not, then I feel like you will give this relationship a chance. Yes, the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups, love. That's what you need to look at everything through the eyes of love. That's beautiful. So I do feel like this is going to be um, a long-lasting love relationship connection here. All right, let's see how this is, what the guidance is. Let's get some guidance here. All right. We have secret admirer. That could be an interference here. Important conversation. Yeah, I definitely see this as a conversation where you're getting to know each other. 
and revealing stuff about each other. Summer, so summertime may be a time where this intensifies. Abundance is near. And abundance includes your deep connections as well as finances, hot and cold. Don't try to control the situation by going hot and cold. That's that's just a tactic. It's games, and I don't think either one of you want to play these games. What else? Counsel and therapy. That may be what they reveal is that they're going through some type of therapy, anger management, um, some type of... Uh, could be going through substance abuse classes, something of that nature. And this could be a deal breaker for you. But this is about really looking at them as a human being and um, seeing if that really needs to be a deal breaker. Releasing judgment. Dark night of the soul. They could be going through a very tough time. But I feel like this could also be you. All right, what else? Patience. You got patience twice here. Patience right here. So patience is a vir virtue. And I feel like this is so key here is patience, not trying to rush things, taking your time. Let's get one more. And we have signs from nature. So there's, I feel like you will get some type of sign maybe when you're out at the park or taking a walk or something in the weather and um, this may affirm or um, detour whatever it is that you're already thinking inner child healing I feel like this is for you but this could be them I feel like you definitely need to explore your inner child and that could bring you much closer to being able to go with the flow and give this relationship a chance so those are the messages that came through for you. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Please, please, please subscribe. And remember, the universe has your back, and so do I. Take care.